But when it comes to kind of life or death stuff, I'm like, mm. yeah, <laughs> like anti-Semitism. No, I don't think so. Or, <laughs> you know, anyway, or, or or getting vaccines wrong. But there's no question that we've seen these monster platforms feature doctors or scientists that are now saying like, so many people died from the COVID vaccine, and here's the research, and right. so many young boys got myocarditis, and da 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 da. Are is how do you know who det- which one's right? That's what's so difficult. You. But how do I know? How do we know? That's what's so complicated right now because they're not talking to each other. You have all these individuals who are saying these things and you have the mainstream medicine do you not, have not willing to engage cases them. cases of myocarditis, though? Myocarditis we know pretty well. I mean, we know that it causes myocarditis. We know the rate is somewhere between 5,000, depends on which study, but somewhere between 5,000 and 100,000. Uh, one in 5,000 to one in 100,000. Okay, and they and- still say that it ca- happens more in the disease than happens from the vaccine. So we know that. But that's not what I think most people are concerned about. I think that was what they originally concerned about. I think people are concerned that it's killing people. Gosh, I I, I would say both. Both. I mean, lots so, of things. But, I would but, say but both. fertility is another concern. There are yep. many things that, 100%. that individuals people have brought up. People noticeable re- issues after correct. that vaccine. And, and, and they were told and they were crazy. The mainstream, I mean, I, I, I've seen this many times, the mainstream research, the literature reviews still say it doesn't affect fertility. But I know several people that said it affected their menstrual cycle. Yep. Me too. Um, Me too. Put them into menopause, th- those kinds of things. Yep. So I know that it did to people that I know. Uh, I, and that doesn't mean that it necessarily did overall, but it just anecdotally, I can just see what I see. But I know. So that's what makes it really difficult because you read the published research and then you see something different and you hear some of these really intelligent individuals going on shows and talking about this study or that study and it, it doesn't jive with the rest of the research. So you don't really know who to listen to and it makes it really difficult because the mainstream medicine, mainstream science isn't really engaging with a lot of this stuff. They just shut it down and call you an anti-vaxxer and call it crazy and they won't have debates and discussion. And that's what I think needs to happen. I think if you are going to have somebody come out and say this, you need somebody equally as smart from People the men. Don't want to. They don't want to, Very but they difficult. have to. They have it to. It is exceptionally difficult. What I have had to do on the show is have a guest and then another guest and then a guest and then another guest. So it's like you can have somebody pro-Israel, but then you got to get somebody pro-Gaza later. Because you... As a host, I am not an expert in vaccine science. I, I am not an economist. I am not a geopolitical expert. And when I, you try to get people in to debate it, like Hotez didn't show up to debate Kennedy. Hmm. I know. <laughs> they have to. I hope they will now. Kennedy will. And he says he will. I hope he will. He always <laughs> he will show up for it. Hotez won't. They have to. They have to now. I, and I hope... So I was talking to Mark Hyman about this when I was on his podcast. And also I was on Dell Bigtree's podcast, very different podcast. But, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, and, and he said, well, you know, that, that Secretary Kenny's always offered and they, they didn't do it. And I'm like, but he's secretary now. It's different. If they want him to have the entire platform and the entire media and say whatever he wants, they can stay silent. Or they can step up now that he is the one up there and they can have debates and discussions if they're willing to do it and they need to... Uh, hold their own and 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 show why he's wrong if they believe that he's wrong with the things that he's saying. Like we did the t- testing, he's like, show it to me. Nobody can show it to him. Right, and, that, and that's where we go back to the autism stuff, right? Well, and that's <laughs> where. I'm, okay, so that's my next one. So that's the top. You know what's funny is I find myself dying on hills that I never would have died on. But when you're in the middle of an interview and they're like, "Well, we know that it doesn't cause autism," I'm like, "Actually, we don't know that. We actually don't." Know that. It's been robustly tested. No, it hasn't. Has not. (laughs) As the temps start to rise, I get that familiar urge to refresh my closet. But I am done wasting money on trendy pieces that I wear once, which is why I'm obsessed with quince. The clothes are timeless, elevated, built to last, no insane markup. I'm talking about 100% European linen shorts and dresses that start at just 30 bucks. Italian leather platform sandals, Lux swimwear that looks straight off a runway but costs half of what you'd expect. Quince partners directly with top-tier factories, cutting out the middleman so you get designer quality at a price that actually makes sense. And they only work with ethical, responsible manufacturers who care about people and the planet. Personally, I stocked up on the linen tees and the tanks, and believe it or not, a killer summer dress. Occasionally, I do wear dresses. And honestly, it finally feels like my wardrobe matches my standards. Upgrade your wardrobe at quince.com. Luxury should never mean compromise. Team, 
Give your summer closet an upgrade with Quince. Go to quince.com slash Jillian for free shipping on your order and 365 day returns. That's Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash Jillian to get free shipping and 365 day returns. Quince.com slash Jillian. Right now, the headlines are chock full of data breaches and regulatory rollbacks, making us all vulnerable. But you can do something about it. Delete Me is here to make it easy, quick, and safe to remove your personal data online. Delete Me knows your privacy is worth protecting. Sign up and provide Delete Me with exactly what information you want deleted, and their experts take it from there. Delete Me isn't just a one time service, Delete Me is always working for you constantly monitoring and removing the personal information you do not want on the internet. For me, I feel so much more secure knowing that my personal info has been wiped from the web simply because I don't get all the robocalls, I worry far less about identity theft and so much more. So take control of your data and keep your private life private by signing up for Delete Me. Now, at a special discount for our listeners, Today, get 20% off your Delete Me plan by texting Jillian to 64000. The only way to get 20% off is to text Jillian to 64000. That's Jillian to 64000. Message and data rates may apply. So, <laughs> so, so let's look at like the insane rise in autism, the insane rise in autoimmune conditions. It, 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 lay that out for me. When did this start? Kennedy says it's somewhere in the 80s. They can track it back to. It was exponential. And has it or has it not been debunked? So statistically first. So if you go back, it was maybe 100,000, maybe one in 10,000, then around 2,000, about one in 150 to one in 250. And now it's about one in 31. And in California, it's one in 12.5 boys. So that is a astronomical rise over a few decades the the first part of the debate is mm -hmm. is are we just noticing it more uh, are we just is the categorization different were there a bunch of people that were autistic before that we just never diagnosed and, and i think that's partly true really? i think it's partly true i mean you there, can tell there, there for sure autism you can tell that they have severe autism you can't always tell if they have mild autism and back then they weren't necessarily categorized okay. we're much more concerned about autism these days okay we're, we're talking about it a lot more uh, there are many people that were not diagnosed that were diagnosed later in life. So I think in terms of the you know, mild autism, in terms of like very, very functional, but maybe have some issues with communication, that that is true. For sure, we're diagnosing it more now. Okay. No question about it. Because we have um, screening tools. We do a lot more. Okay. So I think that's a part of it. Okay. But okay. we definitely don't have one in 12.5 adults, males, that have autism in California. It's insane. That you could look around, you look at any school, you look at any playground, there are many kids with autism that was not the way that it was before. We have much more severe autism. It's like 25-30% severe autism. The rate of severe autism is rising. There's no reason why we have to be so angry about this conversation. You could have a better diagnosis and you can also have it happening more and we can try to figure out why. Why don't we want to figure out why for those people that need our help? I just had this argument with uh, a New York Times reporter, who I'm sure is doing a hit piece on me. If it doesn't turn out to be a hit piece, it'll be a miracle. <laughs> um, but she's like, well, you know, you said that autism, they, they haven't done robust testing for autism, and they have. And I was like, first of all, the Kennedy said that. I'm telling you that don't you want to get to the bottom of it? And we have yet to get to the bottom of it. You point me to the study where we've gotten to the bottom of it. Yeah. Go. Point me to that study. Please. When we are in training, we are taught that it's settled. That's what I thought. I thought there was so much robust research because you hear it on, over. I'll okay. get to what it actually is. Okay. But great, I'm telling great. you what I thought. Got it. Okay. <laughs> when, sorry. I, when I was even going to write this book, I still thought there was lots of research that must be out there. Good studies, robust research. And, and what I was aiming to do with the book was to show both sides. Right. So I yeah. thought I was going to show all these really good studies on autism that show that vaccines don't cause autism. And then I would also show the other studies, like this is why people are saying that it's not settled. There are some other pretty good studies, like it's both sides. When you actually go look at the research, which you have to do for yourself, and you can't just trust what other people have said, it doesn't exist at all. It's insane. Like the only things that we have are on MMR and thimerosal, the mercury component. We haven't studied any of the other vaccines against autism. You get DTEP, polio, B. You get all these vaccines in the first year. We studied the MMR because of the Andrew Wakefield research, which was concerned about the MMR causing autism. So they tried to debunk Tell that. Tell people who Andrew Wakefield is just in case so they're Andrew wondering. Wakefield was a researcher 
back in the 80s, 90s, who did the, those big studies you've all heard of that were debunked, where he linked potentially MMR uh, to autism. That was kind of the first big mm-hmm. wave of, okay. of debunking around that. And so that's why we do have some research around MMR. We have pretty decent research around MMR at this point. Yeah, but, MMR is the one. But then I'm like, go to Hep B. What do you got? But we have nothing else. And you, you hear testimony from people saying, well, okay, does Hep B cause autism? Choose function because it's the only health platform that gives you access to the kind of data most people never see and the insights to take effective action inside function. You can test over 160 biomarkers from heart and hormones to toxins and inflammation, even stress. You can also access multi-region MRI and CT scans, and they're all tracked in one secure place over time. It's a near 360 view to see what's happening in your body, and that's why top health leaders like Dr. Mark Hyman, Dr. Andrew Huberman, Dr. Jeremy London, they're all behind Function Health. This is why I love Function Health. And you know what else? Lab visits are fast and convenient at 2,000 plus locations across the U.S. Just $499 a year, that's a dollar and 37 cents per day for cutting edge health insights. What sets function apart? All the results are tracked over time in one secure place. So you see how your health evolves. Insights come from talk doctors based on your unique results. These could cost over $10,000 if you did it on your own, and there are no perverse incentives. Function doesn't push supplements or pharmaceuticals. It's just powerful, unbiased health data designed to help you own your health. Learn more and join using my link, and the first 1,000 people get $100 credit towards their membership. Visit www.functionhealth.com forward slash Jillian, or use the gift code Jillian at sign up to own your health. Active Skin Repair utilizes a molecule called hypochlorous acid. Now, when you apply it to the skin, the molecule works by mimicking the natural immune response to cleanse, soothe irritation, reduce inflammation, and support healing. Active Skin Repair can be used to treat a wide range of skin issues, including cuts, scrapes, burns, sunburns, diaper rashes, and other types of skin damage. And it's also safe and non-toxic, making it suitable for use on all skin types, all parts of the body, and you can even use it on rosacea, eczema, and acne-prone skin. With over 500,000 happy customers, thousands of five-star reviews, and ingredients so safe and clean they can be used by the youngest member of the family to the oldest, you now have one simple solution for all of your family's skin health needs. So visit ActiveSkinRepair.com to learn more about Active Skin Repair and to get 20% off your order, use the code Jillian. Again, that's ActiveSkinRepair.com and the code is Jillian. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the podcast, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And make sure to let me know what guests you want to see on in the future.